In this tutorial, we'll be using Dreamweaver to create a site based on Bootstrap. This is the sample of structure that we will have in our website. If you look carefully, the structure is a file. This is the root. And then there will be a few Bootstrap files. There will be a template. And there will be three files. Index project about okay the end product will be three files that look similar except for the content so if you go for live okay we can uh, see how it looks in the actual website okay this is the file index and then if we can preview it go to real-time preview using your favorite browser you'll get to see your website home about and project so more or less it looks the same except this part is different okay if we resize the screen size it will be responsive or you can use the developer tool go to more tools developer tools you can change the screen size iphone and ipad okay go back to desktop version okay so it is responsive using dreamweaver to start using dreamweaver the first thing to do is you go to site new site and then you make the selection for the local site folder which is where you store your file so you'll be creating it for example anywhere within your favorite folder okay you create a new folder and then name it as your site and then we start from there so i select the folder so there you go a local site folder and then your site name okay this will be done only once for the first time then after this if you close your website you'll be using this okay now there is no file in the current folder because we have not created any file this is my previous sample so i can close this Okay, so we start with file new after you define your site you go to start the templates and from here we can see there are some bootstrap templates agency e-commerce portfolio okay, so this is the easiest way to use bootstrap without any coding once you have chosen a suitable uh, template you create okay then you save file save make sure you save it in the same folder as where you define your site for example here i save it in download imran because the definition of my site just now is download imran so you must save it here okay for example i save as test and then the extension html is uh, added automatically Okay, so make sure you save it in the folder of your site then it will ask copy dependent files okay we copy so what happen is your site will contain your roots uh, folder will contain a few files okay so this is the script the bootstrap and the css okay now to see the website you can change the view whether it's live or design when you will view in design it looks terrible the proper way is we should use the live view and it looks fine okay 
the easiest way to change the design is okay there is blue lines here if you click on the blue lines it changes screen size as you choose different blue lines uh, or breakpoints example 576 this is the mean width if the mean width is 576 this is how it looks like okay if we go to desktop size this is what we do like okay uh, usually if we design a responsive site you can hide elements in smaller screen size for example if i go to 576 i don't want to display this one so what i can do is i can select and then right click and then uh, we can hide the element that we don't want okay example i don't want to display this i select and then hide so in the mobile version we can hide the element that we think which is not important in mobile view by right clicking and then hide element in the larger screen okay the elements are there but once we go to smaller screen size okay it is gone we can test it file save and then preview file real time preview okay so now if the screen is large there are six circles if i reduce the screen size okay uh, it's gone only left with three so that's generally how you can adjust some of the element by hiding it in the mobile view okay other than that we will learn how to create template so that we can create uh, multiple pages easily home about project by using one single template okay that's the preview of the tutorial